All right, praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Steve Sterling from Dallas, the Dallas Revival Center here in the heartbeat of heaven, Dallas, Texas. Uh, we're giving God all the praise and the worship today. It's a beautiful day out today. And, of course, God gave me some nice little miracles this morning. I could have peppered him with some mir- miraculous uh, this morning. It really gets you going, doesn't it? God just steps in and does some things. So praise God for that. And... Uh, yeah, I just want to, you know, exclaim and explain a little bit. Just talk about uh, how to really move with God, how to stay connected, and and how to uh, avoid all of these uh, mishaps and uh, and uh, negative directives that work against us, try to knock us off the track of blessing and prosperity, and put us in uh, lockdown, so to speak. Uh, in Deuteronomy. Uh, 13 verse 4 says serve only the lord your god and fear him alone serve only the lord your god and fear him alone there you go talk about exclusivity talking about intimacy talking about single-mindedness serve only the lord your god and fear him alone we got so many people running back and forth doing this and that here and there busy like bees but are you really serving the lord god alone and fearing him that's the question. Obey his commands. Obey his word. Listen to his voice. Obey his word. Listen to his voice. And cling to him. Look, we need to get clinging, don't we? We need to get clinging. Obey his commands. Listen to his voice and cling to him. Um, uh, not a lot of people are uh, directive uh, uh, terms of uh, obedience and uh, doing what God says. We've learned a lot of things, but we need to learn what God is saying. So anyway, uh, that'll keep you together, uh, keep things together. And that's a full-time job, believe me. Um, Thank you, Jesus. You know, he he offers us so much. Uh, We're commanded to receive God's gift of peace. And we're commanded not to be afraid. So many people are fretting, fearful, woeful, doleful. So many people are, you know, are really... uh, in a bad situation because they're afraid you know uh in the word raid r-a-i-d is in the word afraid Uh, people are under attack right he said i'm leaving you with a with a gift peace of mind and heart look at that what a gift that is i'm leaving you with a gift peace of mind and heart and the peace i give is a gift the world cannot give so don't be troubled and don't be afraid there you go so if you're really uh under the auspices of his peace and uh, in your heart and mind, you're not going to be troubled or afraid. That's right. So the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, right? So there it is. These are simple scriptures, but these will keep you pulsing. These will keep you on track. These will keep you in alignment. These will keep you in the flow as you meditate in this realm. And sometimes we need to take a pause and meditate uh, about these things. Psalm 56, 3, uh, we have to learn to trust the Lord. And when we are afraid, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Hallelujah. And so many people have crossed up their harvest with what they say out of their mouth. And this has brought a lot of discontentment. This has brought a lot of discouragement. This has brought a lot of uh Confusion. This is about, about a lot of people jetting out of the track that God put them in because of what they say. Look, what it's very important what you say along with what you sow. It's very important what you say in order to see the speed and success of the surplus harvest that God wants to bring. Proverbs 18.20, from the fruit of his mouth, a man's belly is filled. From the fruit of his mouth, a man's belly is filled. That's talking about being satisfied economically. From the fruit of his a man's belly, uh, from the fruit of his mouth, a man's belly is filled, and with the harvest of his lips, or from his lips, he is satisfied. Look at that. With the harvest from his lips, he is satisfied. What are you saying? Uh, what is the fruit of your mouth? What are you confessing? What are you believing? See, you'll say what you believe, and you'll confess what you, you know you know amen but we need to know god hallelujah don't listen to the devil don't listen to defeat don't listen to darkness don't dis- don't listen to dis- dissidence and disillusionment 
don't listen to discouragement. These are these are things that you can't listen. These are accusers. You know, oh, you know, you're not you're not serving God. Oh, you know, the man of God's just after your money. Oh, you know, the church is, you know, really going broke. This coronavirus is knock me out and oh you know things will never be the same you know just forget about the accusers put that out of your mind psalm 109 29 my accusers will be clothed with disgrace my accusers will be clothed with disgrace hallelujah there's people that think like that are independent of god they don't they, they get out of the intimate relationship they don't carry on their connection with the king of kings or the glory of heaven they don't uh, stay uh liquid stay solvent with god they don't stay in alignment and stay in the flow and what does that pride does that amen uh pride goes before a haughty look before destruction psalm 73 6 therefore pride is their necklace a garment of violence covers them therefore pride is their necklace and a gar garment of violence covers them so you know uh these people uh wear it around their neck he that often the heart of his neck shall soon be cut off on that without remedy. See, people can end up in bad situations. Keep hardening. We need to learn these lessons of softening. Learn these lessons of humility. Learn these lessons of discipline. Let God chastise, chastise us uh, or we're bastard children. In other words, we've got to uh, uh, make room for correction. Hallelujah. You know, Job 8.15, he leans on his web, but it gives way. He leans on his web, but it gives way. He holds fast, but it does not endure. Look at that. He holds fast, but it does not endure. So, in other words, we're holding on to something that may not be God. See? We're leaning on some things that just may, may be a web, like a spider's web, that's just going to fall through. So if your plans are caving in and your life has fallen through and if, if you're out of sorts and, uh, you know, you just don't feel like things are working out, just seem like one bad thing after the other is happening, it's because you're leaning on the wrong thing. You're leaning on the arm of flesh. You're, you're leaning on webs that give way. You're holding fast to things that don't endure, according to Job 8.15. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And uh, don't worry about your enemies. Don't worry about your accusers. Don't don't worry about those people that are scoffers and scorners. And don't worry about those people that don't believe in, uh, you know, God's provisional plan of prosperity, and uh, and letting God bring clarity, uh, a error-free uh, manifestation where God brings His tested and true and tried word uh, in revelation and impartation to you, so that you can get over all these hurdles and move forward, and to get God's best. Hallelujah. Have you passed the test? Glory to God. God wants you to be above and not beneath. Bless coming in. Bless going out. Whatever you set your hands to do, he wants it to prosper. Hallelujah. You know, Psalm 109, 29. My accusers will be clothed with disgrace. My accusers will be disclosed or clothed with disgrace. They will wear their shame like a robe. They will wear their shame like a robe. Let them wear the shame. Let them have the disgrace. Let them be clothed with it and robed with it. Clothed, clothed with it and robed with it. The accusers and uh, and uh, those that are uh, uh, wearing uh, cloaks of disgrace and shame and robes of shame. Let, let them have it all. You don't have to walk in that. You can stay sane, uh, keep everything plain, keep everything simple. Just do what God says to do. Be about the Father's business. Hallelujah. And just rejoice in God's will and God's work and God's way. And be single-minded about these things. If, you, if you're obviously you're single, your whole body will be full of light. So delight in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. See, so many people think that this one has it, that one has it. You know, I got to go here, got to do this, got to do that, got to do uh, you know, 10 of these and 12 of those. No, just abide in the vine. If you abide in me and I abide in you, you ask what you will and what shall be done. It shall be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God said, he'll never leave us nor forsake us. In Joshua 1, 5, it says, And there shall not be any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy, all the day, all the days of thy life, as I would miss, with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, and I will not forsake thee. This is for somebody. I feel the anointing right now. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. And you know what? There's so many hurtful things that happen to us. I mean, it can knife us. It can just, like being stuck with a sword where you're bleeding, man, it just hurts. The, the way things uh, transact, the situations set themselves up, and the way, you know, things sedaciously move against you one way or the other. And it can wound you where it can knock you out completely. But just know this, Psalm 144.10, it is he that giveth salvation unto kings who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Look, it is he that giveth salvation unto kings who delivereth David from the hurtful sword. Oh, that scripture is so powerful. And, you know, God will cover us. It, you know, there, it's a battle out there. Don't think it's not a battle. It's tough. I mean, there's a fight going on, not only for your soul, but for your economics, for your well-being, for your livelihood, for your lifestyle, for for everything uh, about your existence. You know, Psalm 140, verse 7, O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. God, let God cover your head with a helmet of salvation. Let him keep you away from the blows and throws of the enemy, because he knows knows how to contrive things and try to entrap you and, and strap you down and lock you in and tie you down and try to hurt you. But you know what? When you have that helmet on, you can deflect all of that. Hallelujah. You know, I like that. Stay bold. You know, Proverbs 28, 1, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous are bold as a lion. And, you know, and they're haters out there. There's people that don't want you to prosper. They don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to be successful. They don't want your, uh, if you're in the ministry, your ministry to succeed. You know what? They just, they won't say it, but their actions tell it. If they're not for you, they're against you. If they're not building with you, they're, they're working against you. You know, Psalm 44, 7. But you give us victory over our enemies, and you put those who hate us to shame you give us victory over our enemies but you put those who hate us to shame victory over our enemies god wants you to have the consummate ultimate victory and boy does he have power god has power to scatter i mean to to dishevel disturb and just extract and, and, and blow with his mighty wind and, and and come with his mighty force courses and sources and just line things out and, and maneuver things to get you on a beautiful place of prosperity alignment and god assignment and keep you there you know he's got power to break all the dissidence and discord and all the disrupt and corrects corrupt in psalm 53 5 they uh, there they there there were they in great fear there were they in great fear where no fear was for god had scattered the bones of him that encamps against thee thou, god has scattered the bones of him that encamped against thee and thou hast put them to shame because god hath despised them your enemies god will despise your enemies god will shame yeah, those that encamped against you sometimes it just seems like the whole world's against you it just seems like everybody is just going a different direction have, you know have, have jetted out pulled out and going another way but god has scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee you know, it seems like people want to fight tooth and nail and try to hurt you try to stop you drop you crop you and shop you and sell you out but you know what hallelujah god has has shattered the bones of him that encamps against thee they were in great fear where there was no fear. God's going to put the fear and dread back on the devil. God's going to put the fear and trepidation back on the enemy. They were in great fear where there was no fear. Even if there is no fear, God's going to make them afraid, make them shake down to the very core, shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, amen. God scatters the bones of them. Hallelujah. Don't worry. God's going to put whatever fear you have about what's going to happen or, or what may take place, God's going to put it back on the enemy. Put it back on the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God will make the whole earth silent before him. Habakkuk 2.20. But the Lord is in his holy temple. And let all the earth be silent. But let all the earth be silent before. Let all the earth be silent before him. Why? Well, Psalm 103.19. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. And his kingdom rules over all. His kingdom rules over all. All. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Psalm 66, 7, he rules forever by his mighty power. Hallelujah. And if there's trouble, turbulence, you know, uncountable uh, flight, 
uh, patterns. You know, your your plane's getting shaken with air bumps that's dropping, and you know, bump, and, and the flight is not pretty. Uh, Psalm 50 verse 15 it says, "Call unto me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and I will honor you. Call unto me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you." God has delivering power, deliver you out of all of the power of the enemy's ways and doings, means, modes, and methods. Set you free and put you back in course and in the power of God's force so that you can be prospering, blessed, anointed. Amen. Everything loops around for your good and for God's glory. And God's going to keep you in sync, totally blessed, totally happy, totally satisfied as you trust, walk, and believe in him. God bless you for now. Appreciate you.